tip top of the morning here, folks. No, I thought I said that. Morning. Yep, this is me, Jerry, and we're going to do some reading of the Bible this morning. We're going to do some video time with the Bible. We haven't done this in a long time, so we figure, well, I figure, what the heck? Let's go ahead and get this. Let's go ahead and get this one started. We're going to begin with the book of Romans. Chapter 10, 1 through 21, chapter 11, 1 through Okay, that was Romans, chapter 10, I mean, Romans, chapter 10, uh, 1 through 21, and Romans, chapter 11, 1 through 33. I gotta say something straight up. We're in a very interesting process right now, just trying to get everything organized. I didn't try and keep everything organized. I didn't realize that the Christmas um, season is just around the corner, too. And I know a lot of a lot of people will be going to church and stuff like that during the during this particular part of the um, season. And you know, it's quite interesting enough that. You know, um, it's uh, quite interesting enough that things are just going kind of crazy. People do have a tendency to forget that, you know, what is the real reason for the season? We get so tied up in little petty things. And here what I mean by that statement, we get so tied up in little penny any things things that are, are less Im important we get tied up and people get tied up in shopping oh yeah trust me I've seen it I've seen people get so tied up in shopping it it drives you insane I mean, really. You know, another thing is, you know, um, and I stress this sometimes, and I do, uh, you know, we should start showing a little bit more discretionary uh, of how, how we, as people, should act. Because the world is kind of like watching. And it always seems to be quite different when when you actually see people um, do a major do a major disaster in life. But you know, I would like to see some people I would like to see to really, I know it's Christmas and you always want to look good, but which is always a good thing, but sometimes 
even scaling it back a little bit with is um sometimes that can be a little bit more um that can be a little bit more simpler. But whatever it is you want to do for this holiday season, you know go uptown or go downtown, you know. Yeah, it would be quite interesting, discretionary. Okay, I'm sorry it took us so long. I had to talk while we were doing that. I was reading, I was doing something about the Bible, Bible why why I was um, talking like that. But uh, here's our next set of readings. This is going to come from the book, the first book of Chronicles, beginning with the fourth chapter beginning with the 6th verse, going all the way down to the 21st, 5, 1 through 13, chapter 6, 1 through 8, correct that, 20, and chapter 7, 1 through 25. Here we go. All right, that was first book of Chronicles, beginning with the fourth chapter, with the sixth verse, all the way down to the twenty-first, fifth chapter, one through thirteen, sixth sixth chapter, one through twenty, and chapter seven, one through twenty-five. Um, you know what's so interesting is, um, you know, what's so interesting about the Bible is. Um, People, I think, and this is what I think, I think if more people would read the Bible, and listen how I say this, if more people would read the Bible, Bible, it would, that, it would be, um, it would be a better world. I know places around the world right now are not exactly as stable as they are supposed to be, but, you know, Sometimes life is not what it's supposed to be. Now listen to how I word this next part. If you want to go uptown, uptown and really dress up for Christmas Eve service, I think that'd be really cool. But also... If you feel like going downtown and, you know, being kind of casual, casual but nice, that would work too. You know, some people think that, you know, don't knock it. You know what I'm saying? Don't knock this. Don't knock this. I mean, if you want to put a dress, pair of hose on, pair of tights, or something like that on, I mean, go for it. But if you want to take it kind of casual and kind of kind of scale it back a little bit, like a good pair of jeans, a good pair of jeans, or a good pair of dress pants, I mean, go for it. Even if you just want to be a nice in a suit and tie, that'd be kind of crazy. But you know, hey. I've seen crazier things than that, you know what I'm saying? Just how it is. 
but do it this way, you know, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do, but I know how life really can be. I'll put the other thing, you know, it's not exactly the easiest thing to be, be when it comes to being a Christianity, but, you know, life sometimes can be a little bit messy. And like I was saying, you know, just want to be a little bit straight up. New Year's is coming up as well. I know that we'll be doing a video before that. We'll be doing three videos on Sunday. But now it's time for our next Bible reading. Our next Bible reading comes from the second book of Chronicles. Beginning with the ninth chapter, with the ninth verse, going all the way down to the 24th, chapter 9, 1 through, thir 1 through 15, and chapter 10, 1 through 10. Here we go. That was the second book of Chronicles, beginning with each chapter, ninth verse, going down to 24, chapter 9, 1 through 15, chapter 10, 1 through 10. Folks, I know this is kind of like, not exactly what we usually do, but, but, you know, it's something that we do that it's pretty good. Like I said, it's um, all about preference nowadays. And I was just reading an article on that very, that was reading an article on that very, very subject. Um, preference. And how things have changed over the past um, four years. But I've also begun to notice, you know, so I said that, um, I've also begun to notice how, I've also begun to notice how things are going backwards, backwards in this, um, um, Anyways, I was saying, you know, I've noticed that a lot of things are going backwards. And I've noticed that a lot of, I've noticed a lot of things have changed since we've been through the pandemic. Our next set of readings comes from the book of Galilee, beginning with the second chapter. Uh... Yeah, second chapter, we'll begin with the 13th verse. You can pick up, if you can pick up the 12th verse, that would be perfect. Because we're going to catch the toe end of that. Toe end the 12, all the way down to 21. Chapter 3, 1 through 29. Chapter 4, uh, 1 through um, 31. And chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Here we go.
Okay, we're going to add a few things to that. We're going to, this is the Book of Gallia. At least how you pronounce it. Um, we're going to add chapter 5, 1 through 26. And chapter 6, 1 through 18. We might as well go ahead and go to that. That was, I'm going to go through the whole thing here. Gallia uh, 2. To tell end of the 12th verse, beginning of the 13th. All the way down to the 21st. Um, chapter 3, 1 through 29. Chapter 4, 1 through 31. Chapter 5, 1 through 25. 26, excuse me. And chapter 6, 1 through 18. Yeah, we decided what to, let's go ahead and add a little bit more into that. You might as well say that we just did the entire, that entire book. And I'll put it to you this way, you know, it's it's pretty cool. But you know, isn't there a thing, thing that's kind of bugged me? And I'm beginning to see it. Sorry about this, folks. Folks, boy, you got, you got a sore back. Sore back and you're trying to do something. And you're finally starting to feel something. And you're finally starting to feel tingling in your legs that was quite interesting you know some parts of the country are going to see a white some parts of the world will see a white Christmas and some parts won't it all depends on where you live and it all depends on how crazy the weather gets in your part of the world that's how I said that you know what's crazy about the whole thing is you know this country is probably in this country right now right now is probably in the worst shape that it's ever been in and you know the more it gets nuts the better the the, the more it gets off the wall the better you know the crazier it's gonna be you know what i mean the entire world is gonna go bonkers and you know it and I'll put it to you this way. This way. It's going to be more crazier than you think. Alright, our next set of reading comes from the first book of Timothy. Beginning with the third chapter, tell and the third verse. Beginning of the fourth verse, all the way down to 16. And then we'll go through chapter 4, 1 through 15, chapter 5, 1 through 5. Here we go. That was um, the book, uh, first book of Timothy, beginning with the end of the third chapter, I mean, third verse, I mean, second, chapter two, end of the third verse, beginning of the second, and beginning of the fourth verse, all the way down through 16, chapter four, one through 15, and chapter five, one through, chapter five, one through five. Now, why is it so important that we, as Christians, read the Bible? Well, I'll be honest, I've been saying it for years. Years, we definitely need to read this thing, because if, 
If more people read the Bible, why do you think I put out Bible readings every day? Why do you think I do it? I want to answer your question. Because it is... It's basically the right thing to be in. I mean... If more people read the Bible, then look at the problems we could solve. Look at the problems in Israel. Look at the problems in um, Ukraine. Look at the problems in Germany. Look at the problems all over the world right now. I mean, if peace could come... And this is not where it is. If peace would come, the best way we can get peace right now is through the Bible. I know a lot of you think I'm crazy. Uh, but, you know, the book, all you gotta do is read it. All you got to do is sit there and read it, and you got to understand that, um, you know, hey, it's going to be interesting. And, um, you know, what's going to be so interesting is um, coming up, like I, like, I, like I said once before, Christmas is just around the corner. And so, yes, we'll be having three, count them, three videos for Christmas Eve. All three church videos. We might do a fourth one too. We don't know yet. Yeah, we never know what the heck we're going to do. Do because of the way the game is played sometimes. Alright, our last reading of the morning is come from, come from the book of Hebrews. The seventh chapter, beginning with the tenth verse, till in the ninth, beginning of the tenth. We're going to go all the way down to 28, chapter 8, 1 through 13, chapter 9, 1 through 22, and if we have to add, we're going to. Now, on that side, we got.
Okay, that was, um, that's our final reading of the day, too. This is, um, at Hebrews 7th, telling in the 9th verse, beginning of the 10th, all the way down to the, um, 28th, chapter 8, 1 through 12, chapter 9, 1 through 21. We also added on, uh, that's chapter 9, 1 through 27, to be exact. We also added on chapter 10, 1 through 39, and chapter 11, 1 through 13. So, yeah, we did add a few things on there. But, folks, I'm all, thank you all for watching this particular video. I know a lot of people will. Um... Sarah Lamp, I know, likes to stop by here. Uh, the Lance Girls definitely like to stop by here. Uh, but there's a lot more people around the world also. They rare seniors and they're the one that likes to stop by these videos. And I know several of you around the world. So look this up on the YouTube channel. It's going to be Video Time with the Bible. I know, that's the, that's, the, that's the usual title, but that's just how it is. This is Jerry. And we're going to end this particular video the way we always do. Plus the prayer and the Lord's Prayer at the end. So this one's a little bit differently than what you're used to. Peace. Grace, peace. Aloha. We serve men and women serving around the world in our branches. We are sponsor and our brothers. We love you madly. Gracious Father, we thank you for this time. Time for video. The time for video with the Bible. Lord, we thank you for all the things that you've shared us with this day. Lord, as some people around the world begin their day, um, may they be blessed and rich in your love. Also, gracious Father, thank you for today's thank you for today's matches from the Bible. And Lord, thank you very much for everything that you do for us. And may the troubles of the world be with be within your hands. Whatever trouble people may be going through who are who's watching this video. Gracious Father, I thank you and I honor you. Now, as our Lord and Savior is to us, we are bold to say, Our Father, the Lord in heaven, how to be thy name. My kingdom come, so will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lay us not temptation, but to us from evil. Lay us kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all for watching the video. I appreciate it. We love you madly. We'll talk at you soon. Peace out.